So I'm not sure exactly how appealing the whole Skittles, Starburst, and Hershey's is gonna be to college students. In just this one building, I've only gotten one sale, and I'm already on the fourth floor. Uh, out of all of these, which is your favorite? Woo! Look at that fat stack of money, man. Hello, Labas Privia. Rosie, stop it. You are annoying me. So you have to go down there. I've been out of the candy selling game for a few years now. I'm gonna be honest, I miss it. So not only will I be rusty at selling, but it's also an entirely different group of people that I'll be selling to. I'm in college now. I've never sold candy to college students. I don't know if it's gonna be different compared to like middle school, high school students. And it's also a community college and a lot of people there actually don't really have that much money to be spending on stuff like candy. They would much rather use it on gas or food. So I see that being an issue. Also, I'm not sure exactly how appealing the whole Skittles, Starburst, and Hershey's is gonna be to college students. I feel like that type of candy is more for a younger audience, like middle schoolers or high schoolers. I'm gonna go do some research, watch some YouTube videos, and I'll also post in the entrepreneur subreddit and see what people have to say as to what kind of candy I should sell. <laughs> Okay, so my method of posting in the Reddit and finding answers that way was almost useful, but at the same time, it's kind of useless. They pretty much just recommend it to sell candy that'll get the students high, but I can't do that because I don't think that's YouTube friendly, and I also don't know where I would buy candy like that for a cheap price to be able to resell it for some profit. What I did figure out is after watching several different YouTube videos, I narrowed it down to two boxes of candy. Those seem to be very popular in these candy videos, so I'm gonna pick both of those and try it out. Off to Walmart. Found it. My research, apparently this candy sells best. I have no clue if it's gonna sell. Back home from Walmart, I got the goods. There's 36 pieces of candy, so the potential profit here is $9.52. But yeah, I guess the profit for the candy selling business is not that good. Unless you go to like Costco or Sam's Club where you can get cheaper prices. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow at school and let's see how much I can make. So far, so good. Got about $4. I've probably asked about like 10 or 15 people and got four people so far. Going well, going well. Get you whatever you want. I'll settle for nothing. As long as we can get the fire. In just this one building, I've only gotten one sale and I'm already on the fourth floor. I still haven't asked around on the fourth floor, but only one sale on three floors. So one thing I've noticed so far is just saying straight up that you're selling it for a dollar. Usually they just say no and they say they have no cash. So it seems like the strategy of first asking which candy is their favorite is working best right now. Anyway, let's keep going. To boost my sales, I decided to hit up my friend to see if he wanted some candy, and sure enough, he did. So I stepped out of class real quick and delivered the product. Excuse me. Uh, out of all of these, which is your favorite? The candies? Yeah, out of all the candies. Uh, probably the Kit Kat. Would you be interested for just a dollar? A dollar? Yeah, just a dollar. Uh, yeah? All right, sick. Oh, shit. All right, thanks, man. There you go. You yeah. Appreciate awesome. It. Yeah, man. No problem. Have a good one. Whew. After a long day of selling candy, I'm finally home. So here is the damage. Starburst and Hershey's don't even bother. They suck. But exactly how much revenue is this equivalent to? 
Got it all in there. Ooh, look at that fat stack of money, man. A little change. Before I reveal exactly how much this is, guess down below in the comments. Also, as you go down there guessing, if you want good luck in your candy selling business and you want to make fat stacks, like the video for good luck. Here's how much I made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then I also got a dollar and change. So $19 in one day. That's actually not too bad, but it still did not cover the cost of the product, which was $26. Here's the thing. The whole process of it is awesome I absolutely love it and it's super super valuable especially for a high school or middle school student because you learn how to sell you learn how to talk to people how to negotiate it's an absolutely great first business to get into but when it comes to making profit it takes a lot of work just to sell two full boxes of these and you're only gonna make 10 bucks from it. So say I do this every single day and I make $19 in revenue every single day. It's pretty safe to assume 19 per day because at least at my school, the cafeteria is super busy all the time. And honestly, I've seen people making like 25 bucks a day and that's at smaller high schools. So 19 a day, super reasonable, five days a week. Now there's also 36 pieces of candy. And now 95 divided by 36 pieces of candy, that is 2.6 entire like containers and boxes that is 2.6 of these both of these together 36 pieces now we know that if we sell out of both of these boxes we're gonna make ten dollars in profit 2.6 times 10 that's 26 dollars and 38 cents in profit in a week oh that's awful okay i mean for at least at, at my age like you might <laughs> you might as well get a normal job i mean that's about two hours of selling every single school day so two times five that's 10 hours of work 26 divided by 10 you you are making two dollars and 63 cents an hour let's come to a conclusion here selling candy is an awesome business especially for the middle schoolers and also high schoolers too but you have to find a way to get your candy for cheaper you can't be spending 26 dollars on 36 pieces and only make 10 dollars in profit selling two full boxes so my conclusion is if you can find a way to get it for super cheap then you can really do it at any age but if you're already past the age of 16 either get a normal job or look into a different business prices are are only going to go up as time goes on and I know that companies are starting to put less candy in their packages too which seems like it's slowly killing the candy selling business but at the same time if you don't care about the profit and you just want to learn how to do business how to sell to people how to negotiate how to talk to people like I mentioned before absolutely awesome business like i had so much fun doing this today that covers everything so if you guys want to see more candy selling videos like this from me then comment that down below give me some ideas maybe i could sell for a week for a month stop hold on uh, like the video really quick i know you're about to leave this video because that's what everyone does when they hear a youtuber say okay that's the end of this video so please just like it before you leave thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day peace